Before fridges made milk boringly reliable, some households in Russia and Finland relied on a stranger kind of quality control. They'd drop a live frog into the bucket. The tradition centered on the European brown frog, Rana temporaria, and people swore it kept milk from turning sour. They didn't know the biochemistry, only that it worked. Turns out the frog's skin is basically a chemical shield. Like many amphibians, Rana temporaria secretes antimicrobial peptides, tiny protein fragments that punch holes in microbes, scramble their membranes, and stop bacteria from multiplying. In a cold pantry with fresh milk, that microbial slowdown can mean the difference between still drinkable and curdled disaster. Modern research has cataloged a surprisingly large toolkit on this species' skin, including peptide families like temperins and brevinins, some of which show activity against troublesome bacteria such as Staphylococcus aureus. That matters today because we're running low on miracle antibiotics and drug-resistant infections are rising. So the old frog and milk trick wasn't magic or superstition, it was folk science. Rural families accidentally outsourced food preservation to an amphibian's immune system. And now, that same evolutionary weaponry is inspiring researchers hunting for new disinfectants, topical treatments, and future antibiotics. Proof that sometimes the weirdest kitchen hacks were pointing at real biology all along.